Hey there, in this video we will be talking about higher order components in React. Now a higher order component or HOC is an advanced technique which allows you to reuse your component logic. And it is also one of the most commonly asked interview question for a React developer role. So here, firstly we will understand what an HOC is and then we will go ahead and implement it in our React project. So by definition, a higher order component is a function that takes a component as a parameter and returns a new component. So it's something very similar to a higher order function if you know about that concept. Now if you want to see what's happening diagrammatically, what we're basically doing is we're passing a component as a parameter to an HOC function. Now this HOC function wraps some wrapper component code around our actual component and then as a result returns this new component which has this wrapper component code around our actual component. So in the end, it's doing nothing but just transforming our component into another component. So let's quickly go ahead and implement a very basic example of a higher order component. And then we'll jump onto a more advanced example where we'll be using HOCs for the layout of all our React pages. So let's get straight into it. So here we are on VS Code where we have just started a new React project using Create React app. Let's go ahead and start a development server to see how it looks like. And as of now, there is nothing but just a text which is being displayed from this div element here. Next up, we'll create a new component called wrapper, which will be our higher order component that we'll be creating as an example. So here I'll create a new file called wrapper. And within this file, we'll be creating a new function called wrapper. And this function will be taking in a component as a parameter, as we just discussed. And then as a result, also returning a new functional component. So here we'll be passing back a new functional component. Let's just give opening and closing divs and we'll add the details in a minute here. So as you can see here, this wrapper function is taking in a component as a parameter. And then in its return statement, it's returning a new functional component. And for this example, we'll be creating a very basic HOC, which is just returning a div. And inside this div, let's just give a header saying that this is the wrapper content. I'll also be giving this div some inline styling and I'll be adding a border to it. So our wrapper contents are distinctive. And for the main part, we'll be rendering the component that we just passed. So this is it. We just created our very basic HOC. Now, since our HOC is returning a functional component, we might also receive props for this inner component. So let's go ahead and add prop for it. Now at this point of time, we're done with all the changes that we wanted to make to our wrapper function. Now let's just export this particular function from this file using export default. Now since our HOC needs a component to be passed as a parameter to it, we'll be creating another React component that we'll name welcome. Now welcome will be a React functional component and the only thing that it will be returning is a header tag saying welcome to your React app. Now let's also add some border to the enclosing div of this component and that's basically it. Let's go ahead and import our welcome component into our main app component and we'll also be importing the wrapper higher order component to our app. So let's go ahead and do that. We are done with our imports. And as a next step, we'll remove this header that was already there in our app component. And instead, what we need to render is our welcome component, but it will be wrapped around the wrapper HOC that we'll just created. And to do that, we'll call the wrapper function and pass the welcome component as a parameter. And what this function call will be returning is a new component, which we'll save under the name app component. And in the end, this is what we'll be rendering for a main app component, which is getting passed to the React DOM. So let's save our changes, start a development server and see how are things looking like as of now. So here, as you can see, this blue border and this particular header saying that this is the wrapper content represents the HOC container around our welcome component, which you can see as the message welcome to your app inside the dotted border. So what you just saw was a very basic example of a higher order component. 
where we were just wrapping additional elements around our component that we are passing just as we previously showed in this diagram now for our advanced example of higher order components we'll be using react router with our react applications what react router enables is the ability for us to render different components at different url routes so for example if you click on this about hyperlink here we are taken to the about route and we are rendering the about component in this case similarly with contacts when we go to the contacts route we are seeing the contacts component now you don't have to worry about how react router works but if you are interested in the topic please check out my previous video the link will be there in the description and will also show up on the top of the screen as a card now here in our example what we want to do is to add this particular layout of a app bar and a side bar to all of our components which are being rendered in these separate routes and for that we'll be creating a higher order component called layout i have already implemented all the code for this example so let's quickly go over it so here in our source folder there is a folder called layout and the main index file contains the higher order component called layout now this layout hoc as a previous example is taking in a component as a parameter and then we are rendering that component along with the app bar and side bar components that we created so here the app bar is what you're seeing on the top and the side bar is this gray area so just like a previous example what this layout higher order component is doing is wrapping the component that will be passing to this function around our app bar and side bar components and hence this will enable us to reuse this entire layout for each of our components so let's go ahead and implement that and for that all we need to do is instead of rendering plain components we'll import our layout here and pass our components to this layout hoc so if you see the current application is something like this where there is no layout for all of our components so all we need to do here instead of rendering the component directly what we'll do is we'll render the layout hoc and we'll pass our actual components under the name component let's save this and see what our app looks like so here as you can clearly see on the root route we have our app component being wrapped around the layout but we still need to add the layout to our about and contacts component so let's go ahead and do that so here in our route definition instead of rendering the component directly we'll render the layout and pass the actual component as a parameter let's repeat the same thing for contacts and this is basically it now when we click on about you can see the layout is still there and similarly when you click on contacts you can see our contacts component being rendered inside this layout or being wrapped with this layout and to enable this all we did was create a hoc called layout where we are wrapping the component that is being passed to the hoc around the app bar and side bar that you can now see on your react application so that's all i had for this video i just wanted to show you guys how you can use hoc to create a common layout for all of your react components i'll be uploading this code to my github and sharing the link down in the description so if you guys want to clone this particular piece of code you can do it from there please hit the like button if this video helped you and subscribe to the channel for more such content And I'll see you guys in the next one.